Hello, listeners, and welcome to another edition of uh, Turf Talk. I'm your sound, it's Michael Kane. I'm going to take you through a preview of the upcoming Nine Race card. That's going to be on show at Kevin's Park on Saturday, the 21st of September, 2024. The feature is going to be the Thunderbird. That's going to be race number eight and open and announce contest of three as not the first 1.4 million a field of seven. Go 1,400 meters or seven furlongs. Ninth and final will be the Dig Out Handicap, the Night Pan, a field of 10. A restricted allowance, 4 for to bed, 4 is not nuns of 3. And importees, 4 is not nuns of 2. 7 for on the trip, the purse 780,000. The first event is at high noon, and we start the catch nine as well as the Rega 6 in race number 1. Rega 6 minimum guaranteed pay of 3.5 million, the jackpot just over 3.4 million, your catch nine starts afresh. 500,000 minimum guaranteed pay, congratulations to the most recent loan winner of the catch nine. And that came on or last race day on Sunday. Race one is a restricted allowance three for nature before the not nuns of four and importees for the not nuns of three. The purse eight hundred and twenty thousand they go the spectator street. Eighteen hundred and twenty meters or nine for and twenty five yards. Of the field of eight, my best four includes one Wayne's Princess, two brown skin girls, six with skid and seven Waha, one, two, six, and seven. That's where we're going in the opening contest. Wayne's Princess last time out at nine and twenty five, she was an upset winner at fourteen to one. One in a quick one fifty seven four for the Nuns of three category, and she won by seven and a quarter. Then beating natural dancer, easy peasy natural dancer came back and won when sprinting uh, some time after. Since stepping up to nuns of four, when sprinters has not been disgraced, fought by five and three quarter lengths to super Alex Huntsman and easy peasy, fought by length over six and a half four behind Norbla, Whiskey and Benson. Norbla stepped up the overnight and won right away. Benson came back and ran well. Last time out, fifth by seven and a quarter lengths beat my Julie Dick and Huntsman, while Waho was third. Look four. Wins Princess to be bang in contention throughout. Bradish Roman, the sneaky fox, he's eight behind. Tevin Foster, Tevin Foster is on 98. Radish Roman on 90. Look forward to them having a good Saturday at the races. Number two, Brown Skin Girl, Victor Sanchez for this Nacosta and Elizabeth Nacosta. Uh, this one goes well over two turns. Last run at 9 and 25 in two minutes and a fifth of a second. Beating Whiskey by a head. Mr. Senator was third. And uh, this one won at a mile in February. So, she will get this sense without most ease. Number six, Wiz Kid at 99 to 1. Flew last time out, second behind Norblar over six and a half four on than that. Say Norblar stepped up the overnight and won over five four on straight. So Wiz Kid, actual top weight at 54 kilos. Robert Haldine picks up the motor, Kevin Murray and owner Colin Elcock. This one, last one, over a mile in 142 to beat the natural dance and Mr. Senator. So look for Wiz Kid to be prominent throughout. One hole, number seven, stay in Philly. Uh, she ran into the third last time out in that same Geolithic Huntsman event. That was at seven furlongs. She has been at seven furlongs on all of eight of her last ten races. So she's somewhat of a seven furlong specialist. But her last victory came at a mile. So she should go over two turns. Paul Francis picks up the moment for trainer by Suter, a.k.a. Striker. And owner, Anthony Williams. Wow, how? Should be finishing quite effectively. And this one could be for the place past the midway point of the contest. As she now comes in five and a half kilos lighter from when she last raised with 55.5 kilos. A competitive looking first event to start the regular six and catch nine. I'm going to make it one, seven, two, and six, my order of preference, Wayne's Princess. To get the better of Wow How, Brown Skin Girl, and Whiz Kid. Dr. Paul Light's tip is number seven, Wow How. Race two is next. Place for eight and quick four begin here. Place for eight minimum guarantee here, the quarter of a million. So does the uh, quick four. Quick four, 393,000 plus in that jackpot and the place for eight. Over a million and 59,000 in that single winner bonus. The second event is a restricted stage contest for importers, three and nuns of three, and native rare and four years, nuns of four. The first 1.19 million, they go 1,500 meters or seven and a half furlongs. Of the field of five, my best three includes one firecracker, three unbeatable force, and five. Goodbye, Fireply, one, three, and five. The Philip Fiano D. Pierre. Of Firecracker and Unbelievable Force going up against the Spencer Chung. Goodbye, Firefly. So it's going to be the pupil up against the teacher, so to speak. And uh, over the past few years, the teacher has been getting the better of the pupil. <laughs> I can tell that for sure. How about Riches to Rags beating Commander Z? 36 to 1 Riches to Rags, Commander Z, maybe 4 to 5 or even money. So, goodbye, Firefly. Let's see if this one is going to be. Along that line, one by eleven and a quarter in last time out in one twenty-eight flat for seven furlong, beating Titan Temple and on this close occasion, impressive in victory when stepping up from five straight, where he ran on debut four by six cents El Rapido, motivate me baby and midnight flight. Ray and Lewis, 
maintains them out here for Miramar Racing Club and Spencer Chong. Let's see if Goodbye Firefly can make it back to back wins. Unbelievable force, no doubt we'd have something to say about that. She now stretched out from five straight and five and a half furlongs, where she competed the last three outings, and she's now at seven and a half furlongs. She should be able to dictate the pace here. She won impressively in 106, 45 and a half furlongs when recently made tag on the second outing, that was on the 6th of August. And uh, she threw a pink connection in 3 to 5 in that same Richard Sirag Motivate Me Baby Commanders event, but came back and turned the tables on Richard Sirag over five straight, stopping the clock in 59 2, drawn post position 1. So she's definitely going to be the one to shoot at here and the one to catch. Indeed, will be unbelievable force. Firecracker won by nose last time out in an all out drive, holding on from Brenda Boy. Brenda Boy ran well in the Windsor and Final of its OD Classic Peter Cert in that event. So Firecracker, a local bred, and she has a uh, Carried herself nice at Texas Science, 5 and a half with 107 flat on the 16th of September. So she's expected to improve. Second time, Lay 6 now on the mornings. Maintains the mouth of Filipiano D and Lakeland Farms owner breeder. Let's see how improved this firecracker is. She's a god gift, number two. She also be thrown in the mix as well. One of her first two races, but she now steps up in journey. Shane Richardson picks up the mouth for Leroy Thompson, also known as Johnny, and owner Suzette Williams. Make it 5, 3, 1, and 2 in race number 2. Goodbye, Firefly, over Unbelievable Force, Firecracker, and She's a God Gift. Dr. Polite Stip is a speedy, Unbelievable Force. Race number three is next. We start the early five star here. Minimum guarantee pay of 300000 over 768000 in that jackpot. It's for the 250000 on 200000 claiming level. And we have six years up invited to take part without the tag. That's six years up number three. And five young maidens can also race without a tag. 700000 up in grabs for the purse. They go. 1400 meters of seven furlongs of the field of seven. The critical posters, my best four, includes two silent cat, four he's a lion, six, six avenue, and seven lion vacati, two, four, six, and seven. That's where I'm going in the third event. Silent cat, last race on the 14th of April, was claimed on that day for 250, brought back for the identical tag, and notably the connections have not opted for the waiver claim, so they have the price up as 250 for this one. So silent cat, clearly, uh, they want to part company with this one. First time of the claim after several months out of action. Shane Richards picks up the mount for Omar Williams and uh, this one. Comes in 5.5 kilos lighter from the last outing with 57 kilos down to 51.5. The allotted weight 53.5. And Shane Richardson should be able to sip off 2 kilos off the allotted weight. Number 4, he's the lion. Second by nose. Last time out beat my Nina Dorada. But that was at 180 at 5.5 furlongs. Now steps up to 250. And notably, he's the lion is a maiden. So a maiden run, like, run up against multiple winners here and in my rule book i don't back maidens to beat multiple winners it's uh, a rare occurrence it can happen but not at my expense i'm not taking this one on top but we're going to keep it on the right side Randy showman picks up the month for owen sharp and owner breeder owen and solomon sharp of course solomon sharp chairman s-v-r-e-l number six is six avenue tevin foster right howard bailey tongue fair off frigate on reports first time off a claim Look for 6th Avenue to run well in this small lineup. At number 7, line of Ecati, Aaron Chatry picks up the mount for Winston Morris and owner Delroy McClarty. Now, this line of Ecati has a figure it removed. Reports first time from the barn of Winston Morris, Aaron Chatry. He's riding well. And line of Ecati, very dismal the last four or five outings. But I can tell you, he has the potential to blow this field away. Has setbacks along the way. But if he's really focused for this race in fans, it might very well be an afternoon stroll. Worked one on the 9th of September. Strolled two furlongs in 26.4. So, breaking even there, may have gone 13.2 for each furlong. So, if Land of Ecati can stroll two furlongs in 26.4, it's going to be quite scary for the opposition here. He's much better than 250 claimers. Not really confident enough to tip him on top, but if he wins by a city block, I will be the least surprised. So, we have two lions and a cat. We have Lion of a Catty, he's a lion, and Silent Cat. Meow! <laughs> I'm going for the cat here to get the better of the lions. So I'm taking number two, Silent Cat, to get the better of number six, Six Avenue, then seven, Lion of a Catty, and four, he's a lion. Dr. Paul Tip is number four, the maiden, he's a lion. Race number four is next. We start the Twilight Six here. Minimum guarantee pay of 3.5 million in the field of seven. They go 1,400 meters of seven furlongs. It's a restricted allowance five. For native breath, falls it up nuns of two. And uh, imported falls it up maidens. The purse here is 750,000. 
My best four, two, three, four, and five. Powerful Highness, Sir Wang Don. Money Box and Waterman John, two, three, four, and five. Waterman John won by a short hit last time out, but was disqualified for causing interference with Dimitri P. Was in a slug fest with Dimitri P from the further and half point. Pinned Dimitri P on the rail. And that was Radish Roman versus Victor Sanchez. And they have uh, had meetings since. Recently we saw uh, She's a Mirage beating Baby Love in race one. That was Victor Sanchez getting the better of Radish Roman. So they could have be having their own private battle in races here. So let's see uh, how this will unfold for the rest of the season. Waterman John, having shown that he's uh, right there to get the job done at the level. He beat Moneybox in that event. Moneybox was third by seven and three-quarter event. Also beat Sir Wrong Don when finishing second behind Dream Warrior. And in that same event where he won and was disqualified, he beat Storm Boy out of sight as well. So uh, it's a Waterman John's race to lose. So we're taking this one. Number five, Waterman John to get the job done. For second, making number four, Moneybox showed a late gain last time out over five straight. A trip way too short of his best. Now at seven further on, look for him to run well. Was well backed at five to two in that same Waterman John Dimitri P event. For third, number three, Sir Wong Don. And the number two, Powerful Highness, showed pace last time out before weakening badly. He should po- show pace once again, but she could very well weaken once again. Make it 5, 4, 3, and 2 in race number 4. Waterman John over a money boxer, Wang Don, and Powerful Highness. Dr. Porter agrees with me with Waterman John. Race number 5 is next. We start late 5 star here. Minimum guarantee pay of 300,000. We have a feed of 9. They go 6.5, 400, 300 meters. It's a restricted allowance to... For native bird, three was done of two and imported three and maidens. The first 1.1 million. A field of nine assembled to go post first. One, two, five, and nine are my best four. Play fair, smart trick, both trained by Anthony Nunes, then Zulu Warrior. And towards the outside, Pope's Lady, one, two, five, and nine appear to be the right four. Horses to back uh, to get your winner, exactor, trifecta, and superfecta. And of course, it's going to be the high five wager as well. And for those high fives, you might want to throw in a horse by the name of First Offense in the mix as well. At this point, we're going to take our break and uh, we'll be back uh, to the program. Here's to Michael Kane. Take it to the preview of the upcoming Nine Race card. That's going to be on Short Cape and Spark on Saturday, the 21st of September, 2024. We're at race number five. One, two, five, and nine are my best four. I like number nine, Pope's Lady on top. Disappointed a bit last time out. That was on the 15th of September. Third by two and three quarter in Warsaw and Fearless Force. Now steps up in journey from five and a half furlongs to six and a half furlongs. Radish Roman retains the belt, picks up the mount, replacing Paul Francis. He had the mount two starts back at 85, so he's back aboard now. Pope's lady should be able to get the job done here. The mile of pace could very well suit her running style. Zulu Warrior, top weight at 55 kilos, seven foster riding for Trina Hart. Bailey, second by nine and a half lengths last time up behind the very impressive main mistress. It won 25, three, four, seven furlongs. So Zulu Warrior clearly uh, should be able to fight at the finish here. Smart Trick and Play Fair, both trained by Anthony Baba and Eunice. Smart Trick, four by three and a half, this last time ordered 41 to one, written by Omar Walker. Led for the first three four in a six and a half four contest, won by Firecracker over Brenda Boy and Zulu Warrior. So Smart Trick, having exposed his well being last time out, he could very well hang around uh, right there to the finish and possibly uh, be in front at the winning post. Play Fair, won on debut January 1st, that was on New Year's Day, beating military. That was. Um, military grade I think it was and the Soul Warrior was third since then has finished third once that was by three days behind Oso Smart and Crypto Girl well beat the last four outings but can do Oceans better racing the 2000 Guineas also racing the Kingston so Play Fair now has Ray and Lewis the champion jockey in the saddle worked well on the 14th of September 5 for one on two two alongside Smart Trick so they're both here in the event and they both appear to have prospects of fighting out the finish make it 9 5 2 and 1 my order preference in race number five, Pope's Lady. To get a better of Zulu Warrior, Smart Trick, and Play Fair. Dr. Paul Light's Cook Food Special is number five, Zulu Warrior. Race number six is next. We have the start of the Strike Four. Minimum guarantee paid 500,000. Last race day, the Strike Four had a mandatory payout, so the jackpot now will start afresh after wages is complete in race number six. Main condition race, the native bred three old fillies, and they go five and a half furlongs or 1,100 meters. My best four here includes three Rubies Light, six Himaya, seven Chinita Estrella, and ten La Vida. Three, six, seven, and ten. That's where we're going in race number six. La Vida, Victor Sanchez, right suspension truck, and Nathan Farm, owner breeder. Second time, lay six. This one showed good speed when leading for the first five photos and six and a half contest on the 23rd of June at 80 to 1. Written that day by Jose Osorio. The race was won by Rackdam. Solis was second, so beautiful was third. La Vida. 
Fed is on the once again, gets a wide draw with second realistic figure removed. If she can reproduce an effort similar to that of the 23rd of June, she could very well take them gate to wire. Team to Estrella ran on strong to be second behind the general. That was on Sunday. Back here now among Phillies only. Shevan Townsend meeting the month for Stephen Todd, owner trainer. Team to Estrella I should fight at the finish as well. Himai number six, the most raced Philly in the event. 21 starts, two seconds and four thirds. Was third last time out, beat by Design Diva and Cherry Blossom. Over five four on straight. Has had several easy opportunities, but just hasn't gotten the head in front at winning post as yet. That trend may very well continue. And number three, Ruby's Light, top weight at 56 kilos. O'Shea Nugent, two-time champion apprentice, a.k.a. Johnny. Right to Gary Griffiths. This one showed marked improvement and second at 55 to 1 behind Captain Fantastic, but the time was very slow. 117 flat for 64 on subsequent that has raised twice and has not delivered. Top weight won't help, but we're going to keep her on the right side based on effort of August 1st. Make it 10, 7, 6, and 3. My order of preference for race number 6. La Vida. To get the better of Chinita Estrella, Himaya, and Ruby's Light. Dr. Paul Lightstip is number 7. Chinita Estrella. Race 7 is next. Late Trooper begins there. Minimum guarantee payout 400,000. It's an over the lounge contest of so three of it up. They go 1,300 meters to 6 and a half from the first 1.25 million. Scratch number 7, Burn Up. Non-starter. A late non-starter is number 7, Burn Up. And you heard it first and foremost right here on Turf Talk. My best four includes one, Pack Place, two, Money Monster, five, Freedom Street, and six, Perfect Brew. One, two, five, and six. Now, Pack Place makes his much-anticipated local debut. He's an importee. A three old beer brown coat by Steve Thirsty out of the Consolidator Consolidate Dam. Standard deal. Bred in the USA by Terry Lovinger, owned Vincent Main, trained Ron Mathy. Radish Roman, aka Sneaky Fox, will be aboard. Pack Plays will have blinkers and Lasix for the debut. And uh, Pack Plays has worked well. Sighted at exercise, going 59 and 1 around the bend on the 15th of September. That was on Sunday morning, last Sunday. So, this pack place, I've been hearing about this one for quite some time. Now, when I tell a recent fans, what I find amazing is the power of the real birds and the touting. <laughs> because each and every time a fresh shooter comes, whether it be a foreigner or local, the touting that goes on behind the scenes, around the scene, in front of the scene, all over the scene, I am so overwhelmed. And this time around, I just say, hands up, all right? A big ass, a monster. I'm going to win by 25 lengths. I'm going to this, I'm going to that. I'm sorry, then. I'm going to take the tout. <laughs> I'm going to take the tout this time. And I tell you, one day, I heard a, a, a real bird tell me that this has gone 102 for five and a half further. I said, what you said? What you said? What you really said to me? 102 for five and a half further. I said, you mean him? Go five further and 102. He said, no. Five and a half furlong in one or two. I say must you may be running a five and a half in one or one and two a foreign. Possibly could have done that at, at far, in foreign, but not at Cayman as Park. So I say this is say that to say that the hype that this one is coming with is not any normal hype. It's a major hype. <laughs> so uh, based on all of that hype, I said, well, all right, then well, I'm going to work at Park Place and. Uh, as such, I've made this my top choice. A local debut, running at overnight with 57 kilos. Perfect Brew is a seasoned overnight allowance horse. Has also been very prominent at open allowance. So, it's no pushover field. And you have Money Monsters also getting uh, back to good form. And Freedom Suite also in good nick as well. But uh, generally speaking though, not, the, not necessarily the most imposing overnight allowance field. So, I think the pack plays uh, based on its uh, hype. I should be able to get the job done here. So taking number one, pack plays to get the better of number six, perfect boo. Then two money monster and five freedom street. Dr. Paul Light's tip is number one, pack plays. They attempt to make the Thunderbird, open and down, wheels it up. They go 1400 meters to seven furlongs. The first 1.4 million. It's a feature. A feed of seven declared to go postwards. My quarter of interest, one ability, four Atlantic convoy, six major danger, and seven. Sensational move. One, four, six, and seven. That's we're going in the Thunderbird. Ability in last year's Derby winner, last year's champion three year old, Roderick Teddy Da Costa, riding for future old Treddy Richard. So Teddy teams up with Treddy and Ability. Through a clinker last time out, that can be excused. Prior to that third by a short hit behind Rhythm Buzz and Fun Can. Done Fun Can that has improved vastly since. So Ability 
clearly has the ability to find the finish here. Atlantic Convoy won last time out at Overnet Alliance, three and three quarter against Lynn, one thirteen four, beating Sensational Move. That was at six furlongs. Don't get a furlong longer to travel. Is equally effective when going longer. So quite versatile is Atlantic Convoy. Can sprint, can go middle distances, and also can go a bit longer. So look for Atlantic Convoy with Victor Sanchez in the side of a Patrick Lynch and Solomon Sharp uh, to be banked in contention. Throw major danger on the upgrade, big time. This one won at non four by four and a half lanes in one twenty six two for seven furlong, beating Super Alex. Stepped up to overnight and won right away in one thirty two two for seven and a half furlong, beating Laban and Atlantic Convoy. Back here working even better when five round in 59.3 on the 15th of September with the Blinkers 50 that morning. Radish Roman, a sneak fox rider right between the fifth final D and owner ACK Stables. Major Danger could be the one that's at a stage of rapid improvement. And Sensational Moon won easily the last time out over five furlongs straight, beating Freedom Street and Taurus Boy. Steps up the open allowance. Has good pace and you don't pace Mr. Race, so steps down from 57 kilos to 50.5 kilos. That's, of course, comprehends of the three kilo claim of Richard Henry. A lot to do with 53.5. That should see sensational move going with 50.5 kilos once he can chip off all three kilo that he is eligible to claim. So sensational move most definitely will ensure a swift pace here in this seven furlong event for Thunderbird. Going for number six, major danger. Just over number one. Ability and in turn, just over number four, Atlantic Convoy. And then just over number seven, Century Some Moves. So this could very well be a blanket finish. One of the others you have, former horse of the year, horse of the year, further and beyond in the mix. 57 kilos though. Looks a bit too high for me. And you also have last year's Senator Winner Thalita. And there's also Fearless Soul is up and coming as well. So a wide open looking from the bird here with major danger getting the vote. Dr. Paul Light's selection is also number six, major danger. The ninth and final event will close the curtains with a feel of 10. It's a restricted allowance for, for Nature Bread. Four is not none of three, and importees four is not none of two. The purse here is 780,000. Of the field of 10, my best four includes three uncaptured Empress. I've been backing this one for a couple of weeks now. Second of the last two outings, I'm hoping she can get over the hump and get the win now. Tipping her to win once again. Other horses of interest, six. She's my hedge fund, eight, James, and nine. All is right, three, six, eight, and nine, my Top four here. Uncaptured Empress, six-time champion oak, jockey Omar Walker maintains the mount for train of meter but master and Oda Misuki. Second by three and a half lengths last time out beat by Mr. Senator over seven and a half furlongs. Prior to that, second by three and a half lengths, the natural dancer over six furlongs. Hoping she can follow through on those two good efforts and go one better here. The trip now seven furlongs, which will be right up her street. She's my hedge fund. Need your introduction. Has been at this level for some time now. Has been well fancied too. Six to five last time out. Seven to five, two starter back. Three to five, three starter back. So she is... Um, a social disappointment in her last three outings has continued to work well. Five furlongs, the one on one, two by 49 two on the 14th of September. So look for her to run well here. Victor Sanchez, right to a trainer, Dista Costa, and owner Mikey. Number eight is James Radish Roman, aka Sneaky Fox, riding for Spencer Chung and uh, Argyle Farms. Visor off James, hindered by the last time out at two to one on the 31st of August. Beat man after dancer on Captured Empress and Blinking Light. So if you gave her, rather, if you gave him. A chance that day at 2-1 to one was badly hindered in that same race where Natural Dancer beat Uncaptured Empress. Uncaptured Empress is second by three and a half lengths. So if James gets a trouble-free run, he could very well be right there at the finish. Wherever Uncaptured Empress is going to be, he can be there too. At number nine, all is right. Shane Richardson riding for Trina Michael Marlowe. Second by Lent last time out beat my burden Valor at a mile. Led for the first seven furlongs. Cuts back in distance from eight furlongs to seven furlongs. Her last victory came at seven furlongs in 127.3. At non risk of two, beating Hedgecraft. Hedgecraft has returned and he has won since. So all is right. Once he can follow through on that effort of the 23rd of June when winning at seven furlongs, she could very well get the job done also. So it's a wide open looking ninth and final event and Empress thinks number one can be taken into consideration as well. So we have uncaptured Empress and we also have Empress Links. So if you're looking for a rig there, Empress and Empress, Empress Links, uncaptured Empress. I'm going to go 398 and 6 as an order of preference. Uncaptured Empress to get the better of all is right. James, she's my hedge fund. And for the high five, Empress Links. Dr. Polite selection is number nine, all is right. And I know, of course, Doc thinks that he's all is right. So I think that it's a long time that he should have been tipping his horse, all is right. <laughs> so uh, look forward uh, to all is right running a big race there for Dr. Paul Wright. That's the program for you, Turf Talk.
I'm your soundist, Michael Kane, on behalf of our student engineer, Austin Art. Until it's time for Libration from Cayman's Park, first post will be high noon. Goodbye for now. <laughs>